Hi, this is Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and this is video number three of the Listoon Varnish Shawl. Um, this is the fun part. This is where we're going to actually assemble the back portion to the stole portion. Okay. Um, and when we do this, let me say something that's really important. This is a mistake I usually make whenever I sew. We want to make sure that the front sides, which is the front sides here, that they are facing each other when we do this stitch across, okay? So, and I also want to be clear, it does not make a difference which side of the, um, of the stole that you connect. Um, let's see, I'm going to connect it in such a way that the arrows are going up. You can connect it in such a way that the arrows are going down. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which side of the stole we connect it to because they are both symmetrical. Okay, so let's go ahead and read our directions. It says, working in the last round of both the stole section and the back section. Okay, so it is specifying. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. Um, so you can work in the last row that was um, completed on each one or not. It, it will still look the same. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is skip 77 single crochets on the back section. Okay, this is going to help us to center where the back is attached to the stole. So let's go ahead and we're going to count 77. We're not going to count the chain two. We're going to just count the single crochets. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You can notice I like to go by fives because it's just easier for me to remember the number when I do that. Maybe it's left over from learning how to count by fives in kindergarten. I don't know, but it works. Okay, so we left off on 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, and then 76, 77. Okay, so it says 2 skip 77 single crochet so we're going to skip all of these but we're actually going to start in the 78th um, single crochet and we're going to be working through both thicknesses and we're going to be joint we're going to start by joining in the chain two on the back side and the next stitch which is the 78th stitch of the stole okay and we're going to slip stitch in each stitch across the back section and then we're going to slip stitch in a chain two. Okay, that, I've read all the instructions. Okay, I'm going to stick my hook in here so I don't forget where the stitch is or I'll have to count it all over again. So this is my stole. This is the long portion. Okay, now here is, okay, here's the front side. It's going to be facing. I'm going to put the back in front. Let's see, where is the back? Okay, so the back section is, is in my left hand here. The stole section, the right side's facing, okay? So I'm going to I'm going to hold that stitch right there. And I'm going to stick my hook. Let me hold it back so you can see better. I'm going to stick it in the chain two. Because I'm going to start by joining it at the chain two in these two stitches. Let me grab my yarn. Uh, it's around here somewhere. There we go. I'm going to make a, a kind of a slip knot. I'm also going to leave a good strand. I haven't really said much about this because I'm assuming you are not exactly beginner crocheters out there watching this. But if you are and, and you're wondering why I have all these long strands, well, it's because it's easier to hide them. I'm going to wrap both strands around that. Pull it as tightly as I can. Okay. And now I'm going to simply look at the next stitch. I'm going to go through these two stitches and then the next stitch here. And then we're going to do a slip stitch like so. And I'm going to do it again in the next two. 
slip stitch and again all the way across make sure that you are you know matching these stitches up okay so that we don't skip any and and this should if if you worked your perimeter rounds around both of these pieces the way you should have um, with the correct numbers according to the pattern then these should join up exactly in the center of the stole now if you're having trouble holding these together and if you wanted to clip them together you know feel free to, to you know to do that but but I would encourage you to just line the stitches up as you go okay so I will do this all the way across and then I will show you what I do when I get to the end of uh, or to the next corner of the back okay I've worked all the way across connecting the back to the stole and I'm going to do the last two stitches for you right here just that that's the slip stitch in the last single crochet and then I'm going to go ahead and work one in the corner chain this will make give it a you know a nice completed edge here all right just like so now I'm going to finish off I'm going to pull that tightly I'm actually going to do I'm going to do an extra one just to make sure it is secure it's going to be well hidden I'm going to go ahead and cut leaving myself a nice long uh, strand um, so that I can thread that into my uh, sewing needle or my um, yarn needle all right let me let me show you okay this is what it looks like this is the back side showing you can see the uh, the um, let's see I'm sorry the slip stitch seam all the way across working through both of the loops okay now if you don't like crocheting your pieces together and you are a, a purist and since you want to sew it with a yarn needle and a yarn go ahead you can do that if you'd like I, I just think this is a little bit faster and just um, gives it a little more you know flexibility here now let's see what the seams gonna look like from the front side okay this is the back okay and this is what the seam will look like from the other side of course this will lay flat after a while okay so that's that's kind of a nice seam so when we turn our stole around and just get this strand out of here and when the back side okay is facing okay this is the back side facing down okay you can get an idea how it looks when it comes together in the back okay so now we are ready to transition to working on the lace now I'm going to show you how to work the lace portion and in so doing I just want to say that I'm going to show you one end to start um, the end of the stole and of course you would do exactly the same thing on the other end of the stole that I'm about to show you okay so let me go ahead and get started all right now before we begin the lace portion I wanted to give you a vision of where we're going and show you what this is going to look like okay the first row is actually worked here which is just a row of double crochets row two row three and etc and we will take these rows one at a time now um, when we do this um, we're going what I show you on the one end you're going to do of course on the other end of the stole as well as on the the larger back portion now when you connect the back portion it will be slightly different but I will show that to you unfortunately um, that the difference is not listed in the written pattern but don't worry I'll get you through that it's not a big deal and there is a different stitch count uh, but you you should already know that after having done the perimeter round all right let's get started on this okay now let's begin um, we are going to working in the chain two space corner we're going to go ahead and join our yarn with a slip stitch okay and we're going to chain three one two three 
and we are going to work a double crochet in each single crochet across working through both loops let me show you what I'm going to do with this little string too I'm going to do double duty I'm going to um, do two things at once I'm going to begin our row of double crochet and I'm going to go ahead and crochet right on top of that extra strand okay it's just a little a little fun trick I'm um, also noticed I should have said something beforehand I am still using the size I or nine crochet hook we will be switching to the G hook but that's not going to be for another row or two okay so let's just go ahead and I'm going to work a double crochet in each single crochet across the row and then I will return for the second row okay now that I've worked my 50 double crochet stitches all the way across I'm going to chain four one two three four I'm going to turn and I'm going to double crochet first of all I'm going to skip the very first stitch and then I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch I'm going to chain one skip the next double crochet double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip the next crochet double crochet in the next stitch and chain one skip the next double crochet and you get the idea okay let me show you it should look something a little bit like this and we're going to do this all the way across the row I will come back once I finish this okay so we've worked this all the way across I'm going to work the last one chain one skip the double crochet and double crochet sorry about that in the last stitch okay now we're ready for row three okay we're going to turn and we're going to chain one this is for row three and then it says single crochet in the first single in the first stitch so we'll go ahead and do that and then it says single crochet in the chain space which is this one and then in the brackets it says single crochet in the next stitch there and single crochet in the next chain space and we're going to do that twice so I already did it once and then we're going to do that again okay and then it says to chain three one two three slip stitch in top of last stitch just worked okay so we're making a little pico here what we're going to do I'm going to show you what I'm going to do I've made my chain three I simply put this hook into the last single crochet and then pull it through slip stitch like so and you get that little pico or little little bubble tiny tiny one right there okay and now we're reading uh, we have an asterisk which is showing us that this is what we're going to repeat for what I say from this point on is what we're going to do all the way across the row and that is single crochet in next stitch single crochet in next chain space and we're going to do that four times so we've just done it once so this is our second repeat of what's inside the bracket and then our third repeat and then our fourth repeat okay and then after that we are going to let's see here um, we're going to keep reading we're going to read past the double asterisk okay for now and then it says to chain three one two three slip stitch in top of last single crochet worked which is right here remember there's the single crochet you're just going to go right in through pull a loop pull it through there's the slip stitch okay now we've come to the part that says repeat from the asterisk across okay and then it's only at the ending um, ending last repeat at the double asterisk so the, the double asterisk we're going to ignore it until we get to the end of the row I hope this is helping some of you learn how to read patterns I know it can be confusing but if you see you know things as they kind of unfold before you and see what the words mean and hopefully that will 
will help you understand. Let me give you a visual repeat or explanation of what we're going to do here across until we get to the end, which is going to be slightly smaller. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do eight or crochet eight single crochets, alternating them in between the double crochet, the chain space, double crochet, chain space, like so. And then on the eighth single crochet, we're going to make the chain three and then slip stitch in the top of that single crochet, forming a pico. All right. So let's, I'll do a, I'll do one more, one or two of these. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, okay, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight, and then we're going to do our chain three, and then slip stitch in the top of that last stitch, okay? So we're going to do this. I'm going to do this all the way across, and I will show you the ending of this row. Okay, let me show you what I've done. Okay. Now let's go to the end. I've come all the way to the last few stitches. It should look like this. And we're going to single crochet. I'll go ahead and read it word for word. It says across, ending last repeat. Um, by, by making this case, single crochet in next stitch, single crochet in next chain space twice. So that's one, and then in the chain space, that's that's once, and now I'm going to do one in the next double crochet, and then in the chain space. Now this is the thing you want to do here. It says to single crochet in turning chain. So I'm going to go up to chain number three, right up here. In fact, I'm going to do that again so you can see. Third and just do a single crochet. And that will be the way we end this row. So if you see the end, the ending and the beginning are, are pretty much symmetrical. Okay, so we're ready for number four. All right, this is the important thing, probably the most important part, the most important part of this. Um, right now we're gonna change hooks. We were using a size I hook. Before you begin row, Four. Make sure you change to your G or a hook that's about two sizes smaller, two sizes smaller than your gauge hook. Okay. Now we're going to. It says with size G hook, slip stitch. Okay. So we don't even need to do a turning chain. Let's go ahead and turn. Okay. I've went went ahead and turned. Um, you might want to make sure that the yarn is back behind you it's easier to crochet it that way and so the first thing we're going to do for row four is slip stitch in each of first two stitches okay so we're going to do one slip stitch that's the second slip stitch okay and then it says to chain three one two three and then two double crochet in same stitch as beginning chain three. So we're going to do two more, one, two, double crochet. So you have this, okay? Now this is what we're going to do. Um, chain, this is inside the brackets, chain eight, skip the next seven stitches, and then three double crochets in next stitch across. We're going to do this all the way to the last stitch, leaving the last stitch unworked. All right, so that's a lot, um, but this is actually easier than it sounds. So we're going to chain eight. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to skip seven stitches. One, two, three, four is with the pico. Five, six, seven. Okay, now in the in the next stitch, we're going to work three double crochets. One, two, three. Now we're going to skip, uh, we're going to skip seven stitches and we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, eight, 
Okay, we've skipped those seven stitches. One, two, three, four with the pico, five, six, seven, and then three double crochets here. One, two, three. Okay, we're going to do that all the way across the row. I'll do it one more time for you. Chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Skip seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches, and then crochet three double crochets into the next stitch. Okay, I'm going to finish this row towards the end and I will show you the ending stitches. Okay, so far this is what this is what I have. Okay, I'm going to show you the ending. We're going to crochet eight more chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Skip seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three double crochets in the next stitch. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, and this ends row number four. Okay, for row number five, we're going to go ahead and turn. Okay, and we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to double crochet in the same place or the first stitch. Okay, and we're going to double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochets in the next double crochet. And I'll explain a little bit about what's happening here. In this instance, the chain is acting as a double crochet. Um, as we go across, we're going to be doing it a little bit differently, and I'll, I'll show you. We're going to actually have five double crochets there, but um, for all practical purposes, we do have five here. It's just that one of them is a chain. Okay. Um, so now we're going to chain three. One, two, three single crochet in next chain eight, single crochet there, okay, and then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to work two, we're going to work two double crochets in the first of the, th of the trio of double crochets from the last row, and then we're going to work one double crochet in the middle and then two double crochets and the third. Okay, so we're going to this and we're going to repeat that across the row. Chain three, single crochet in the next chain eight, just like that. You don't have to connect it to a specific chain or anything, just, you know, in the middle there. One, two, three, chain three, and then two double crochets in the first of the trio from the last row, one double crochet in the middle, and then two double crochets in the next one. Okay, we're going to do that all the way across the row. Okay, I will go across the row with that. Again, it's um, chain three, single crochet to the chain eight, chain three, then you do two double crochet, one double crochet, and then two double crochet, and then repeat that across. Okay, I've worked this all the way across the row, and I just wanted to show you working the double crochets in, in the last little cluster here. So we write, we have crochet two into the first stitch, one into the next, and this might be a little tricky. I'm going to do two double crochets. I'm going through two loops of the chain in order to do this if you can see what I'm doing. And you can go through one if you prefer. I like working through two because it it just gives it a little more stability. Okay, so this would be the last cluster. So this is what we should have all the way across. Okay. Okay, so the next row we will be on 
is wow row six already we are very getting very close to the end of this all right so we are going to go ahead and turn okay now we're ready to begin row six we're going to chain four one two three four and the direction says count this you should count this as the first treble um, skip the next stitch and cluster in the next. So we're actually going to work this in the center stitch. Okay, that could be confusing. Sometimes um, the patterns are assuming that you're not going to work in the first stitch. Um, I just want to make it crystal clear. You're going to do this cluster in the middle, the middle uh, double crochet. So for the cluster, we are going to do it as follows. We're going to wrap the hook twice as if we're going to do a treble. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're just not going to complete the treble just yet. And we're going to do this two more times. Wrap the hook twice, put into the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop. So you should have the beginning of two trebles and this one other loop left on your hook. And we're going to do that one more time. Wrap it twice, put it in. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, after that, we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on the hook, like so. This is your cluster. Now let's keep reading. Okay, after we've completed our cluster, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now it says single crochet in next chain three space, which is right here. We're going to single crochet here. Just a single crochet and chain three. One, two, three, and single crochet in next chain three space, which is right here. So we've done this. Okay. Now it says two, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip the next two stitches, the next two double crochets. And then we're going to work a cluster in the middle double crochet of the five. So it would be the third double crochet. Remember the cluster? It's like working a treble, but we don't complete it. Wrap it twice. Stick it in the same hole. Okay, that's two. Okay, that's three. Yarn over. Pull through all the loops on the hook. Now we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to single crochet in the chain three space, chain three, and single crochet in the next chain three space, which is right here. Chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll work this last cluster for you, and then you just continue to repeat this across the row. Okay, wrap it twice, skip the next two. We're going to work this in the third of the five double crochet cluster. Pull through two, pull through two, wrap twice, stick it in the same place again, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, wrap it twice, stick it in the same hole again, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yeah, make sure we get all, you know, I, I didn't like that. I'm going to pull that one out, do it again. That's the beauty of crochet. If you don't like the way it's going, you can just do a little bit of ripping and be right back on the road again. Okay, now we have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, all through four. I'm sorry, pull through all four loops. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And single crochet in the next chain three. Well, let's try that again. Chain three, and then single crochet in the next space right here. Just go ahead and repeat that across, and I'll show you the ending stitches. Okay, I've gone all the way across. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do this last little, this last one here for you. I'm gonna chain three. Single crochet in that chain three, chain five. I'm going to work my cluster in the center, which would be in the third um, double crochet. Yarn 
yarn over, pull through all. Now this is what's a little different. The end says uh, we've done the cluster and, uh, and the chain threes and everything all the way across to the last two stitches. Here are your last two stitches, your double crochet in your chain. And it says skip next stitch and to treble crochet in last stitch and then turn. So we're going to simply do a treble crochet. I'm going to do it in the top of the chain. As you can see, I'm just going to go through two loops of that chain. Okay, so it looks just like this, which happens to match the other side. So everything is going to be symmetrical as I show you that. Okay, now we're on to row seven. Row seven says to slip stitch in the first treble. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're not we're not chaining or anything. We are simply turning. Let me go ahead and put the yarn behind the hook because it tends to work. Well, let's try that again. Put the yarn back behind the hook because it's easier to grab that way. So we're going to slip stitch in the first treble just like that. Okay, skip the next stitch and then it says single crochet in chain five space. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and single crochet in the next chain five space, which is right here. That might be a little awkward to do, but just kind of go reach on over and do the single crochet just like that. The next thing we're going to do is chain three, one, two, three, and then it says three double crochets in next chain three space. So the next chain three space is right here, the little center thing that we worked. So we're going to do three double crochets right there, just like so. Okay, and then after we do that, we're going to chain three again, one, two, three, and then we're going to single crochet in next chain five space, which is right here. We're going to single crochet there. And then it says to chain three, one, two, three, and then single crochet. Okay, we're doing this twice, so we're going to chain three and single crochet in the next chain five space, which is right here. Okay, so we're doing this. And so then after we do that, we're going to chain three again, one, two, three, and then we're going to do three double crochets in the next chain three space, which is right here. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Now let me take a look at this pattern just so that I can explain it as clearly as I can. Okay, so then three double crochet in the next chain three space, which we just did. Okay, chain three. We're going to repeat from the asterisk. The asterisk is going to take you in the pattern back right outside of the brackets. Okay. So that is, um, then it says single crochet in the next chain five space, which is right here, like so. Then it says to chain three, single crochet in the next chain five space. And then we're going to chain three again because that was the second repeat inside the bracket. And then we're going to double crochet three times in the next chain three, which is right here. I'm going to step back a minute. I'm going to hold this back so that you can see what we are doing here. Okay, so we started up here. So we had a chain three, double crochet in this little, in this little chain three space, chain three. Then we single crocheted in the chain five, another chain three here, and then single crocheted in the next chain five, another chain three, double crochet in this chain three space. Another chain three, single crochet in the chain five space, another chain three, single crochet here, then another chain three, and then the single, uh, I'm sorry, three double crochets in the next chain space. So we're going to repeat that all the way across, and then I'll show you what I have for the ending. We end 
row 7, we're going to chain 3, and we're going to single crochet in the last chain 5 space, and then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to skip the next stitch and slip stitch in the last stitch. So that's just right at the top here. We're just going to slip stitch right there. Okay. Then we're going to turn our work and we are going to go on to row 8 which says to chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. We're going to skip the next chain 3 and we are going to work two double crochets in the next stitch. This should be looking familiar to you. And then one in the middle and then two in the next double crochet. So two double crochets in the last double crochet of that triple. Okay, or that trio I should say. Okay, after we do this five double crochets and we're going to chain five right here. We are going to skip this chain three. We are going to single crochet in the next chain three. And then we are going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip the next chain three here. And then we're going to work one, I'm sorry, two double crochets in the next stitch. one double crochet in the middle of the trio and then two double crochets in the next stitch. Let me go ahead and check with this pattern just to make sure this is correct. Okay, so this is what we are to be doing. Chain five. This is within the brackets. Skip the next chain three space single crochet in the next chain three space and then chain five again two three four five and then we again we work our double crochets we skip this chain three space and then two double crochets one two and then one in the middle and then two more here. Okay, so let me show you what we have here. That's where I send you off across the row. So, as we started out with five from our slip stitch from the previous row, five chains, and then we work two in this double crochet, and then one in the next double crochet, and then two in the next double crochet. We skip this chain three, we do a chain five, single crochet in the next chain three and then five chains again skipping this next chain and then two double crochet one double crochet and two double crochet so let's do that all the way across the row okay I've worked this all the way across to the last section and I'm going to chain two for the last one and I'm going to work a double crochet. I'm going to skip this chain three and we're going to work a double crochet in the slip stitch just like so. Okay. Now we're ready for the last row. Hurrah! I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn. Or you could turn chain one. It really get you in the same place. Um, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch which will be the top of that double crochet just like so. And chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the next chain three here, the next chain three space, and next two stitches. Skip these two stitches as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to work a cluster in the next stitch. And then we're going to chain four and slip stitch in the top of the cluster just work to make a pico and then chain five okay that's a lot let me go ahead and back up and do that if we're going to skip the chain three and these two stitches let's go ahead wrap our hook twice 
stick it in that center stitch just like we did the clusters a few rows back. I'm not going to spend a lot of time with it because you should know how to do that by now. Okay, until you get four strands, pull it through. Now this is where it's a little different than the last one. Okay, so after we do the cluster, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, and then slip stitch in top of cluster just works. Okay, so this is the top of the cluster right here. So we're going to search our hook right in here. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. Stick it right like that and then pull it in. So that, that actually forms a cluster uh, or a pico at the top of the cluster like that. Okay, after that pico, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We are going to slip stitch in the next chain five space, which is right here. Okay, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to work a slip stitch in the first of the chain fours, which is right here. Slip stitch, and that forms a little pico. Okay, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to single crochet in the next um, chain five. And so we form this little pico here in between the single crochets. Now we're going to repeat that chain five. Okay, we're going to skip the next two stitches. We're going to form our cluster in the center of the five stitches here. Just like so. Remember, chain four, one, two, three, four, and we're going to slip stitch in the top of the cluster like so. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and now we're going to do this again. So we're going to single crochet in the chain five like so. Chain four, one, two, three, four, we're going to slip stitch in the first of those four chains, like so. Do an additional chain one, skip the single crochet, and we're going to do a single crochet in the next chain five. And then it just repeats all the way across. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to do my cluster. I'm going to go ahead and I'll just show you again what this row is doing. Okay, we have our chain five. We have our treble crochet cluster with the pico at the top with the chain four and then slip stitch in the top of the cluster, chain five, single crochet in this chain five, chain four, slip stitch in the first chain, then another chain one, and then a single crochet in the next chain, and then it begins all over again. I'm going to work this across the row and show you the end. Okay, I've worked this all the way across, if you can see. Okay, and for the end, as we end this, it says to do this all the way across to the last chain five space, which is right here. Okay, so we have our chain five already made, and here's our last chain, and it says to skip the next two chains and single crochet in the next chain and fasten off. So we are just going to count one, two chains and we're going to skip those and we're going to work a single crochet. Now if you don't like working a single crochet and you want to work a slip stitch, you're the boss. This is your project. You can do whatever you like. Pattern calls for a single crochet. I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to also fasten off. I'm going to do a little chain like so. I'm going to get my super sharp scissors. I'm going to make sure I leave myself at least four to five inches here, like so. Then I'm just going to pull it all the way through. I'll give it a little tug. And so that gives me plenty of string to thread into a yarn needle or a darning needle and to hide. Okay, so this is 
the way you would do each end of the stole. I just had one more thing to share with you before you begin the lace for the back section. This is the for the back panel of the shawl. Okay, you should have, after having done the perimeter round, 96 single crochets across the end rows. Okay, plus you will have two chain two corners, one here and and one here. Okay, so if you should follow the directions just like you did for the lace on the shawl, por shawl portion, or I'm sorry, the stole portion, um, and I'm going to have you do one more thing. I'm going to have you do a double crochet in the chain two corner when you get to the end of the back. This is for the back only, not for the stole portion. Okay, that will give you a total of 98 double crochets when you include the chain three the chain three here at the beginning of the row and that will make everything come out nice and even for the rest of the lace instructions okay well I am I am done um, I just wish you the very best with this I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this pattern should you have any questions you're always free to contact me at Bonnie Bay at me.com or you can contact me through my website bonniebaycrochet.com and I will wish you the very best. God bless. Bye-bye.